Ooh. What's going on, world? I am DJ Swaver, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. On today's episode, we're going to be opening the box to a pretty dope Adidas shoe that I'm glad I got. It is the Adidas Uncaged Ultra Boost collab with Color. Now, I know a lot of people wanted the 3.0 Ultra Boost in this pack instead of going after this Uncaged one, but that one was a little bit too colorific for me. I tend to buy shoes now that go with my fashion sense. I really couldn't see myself rocking it, so I went after the Uncaged Ultra Boost instead. We'll get to that box opening in a second but right now i gotta talk about all this fire that is releasing in march historically as far as sneaker releases goes march is normally a month that you can guarantee some bangers are going to come out a lot of people wonder why march is such a special month for shoe brands to bring out some of their best shoes at the beginning of the year don't you find it just a little bit coincidental that it's around tax return season things that make you go hmm adidas just came out with the triple black ultra boost this pack on their collab with Color. You have the Adidas Consortium collab with Ronnie Fogg and Naked on the new City Sock 2s coming out this weekend. You have a whole bunch of Adidas and White Mountaineering shoes coming out this week. Even on the Nike tip, with this being Air Max month and Air Max Day coming on the 26th of March, I've seen at least four or five fire-ass releases for that celebration. And the crazy thing about it is, the price on all those shoes I just mentioned are out the roof. I'm telling you, it is no coincidence that the prices go up on these shoes because they know that a lot of y'all are getting a return back from your taxes. From a company standpoint, that shit is genius. Because what does the normal consumer think? Well, I got some extra money, so I might as well splurge on these shoes. Stay woke. Now, I know I'm going to be going after a lot of these shoes, but I'm not about to go broke trying to get every shoe that comes out. Some of y'all may have it like that. And by all means, if you got it like that, go get all the shoes you want. But as for a consumer like me that's on a budget, I got to pick and choose my battles, bro. I may be able to get one or two of these releases, but I'm not going after all of them. There's no point in having a whole bunch of shoes if you're living in your car. You feel me? With that being said, please spend your money wisely. Don't go broke trying to stunt for everybody on Instagram and social media. Buy shoes you're going to rock. If you get some money from your tax return, save some of it. Go on a vacation or something. Do not let your whole tax return end up in boxes in your closet. Enough about all that, man. Let's get to this box opening. Yeah. Here we have the collab between Adidas and the Japanese clothing brand Color on the on Cage Ultra Boost. This was one shoe out of a two shoe pack. The other shoe was a 3.0 Ultra Boost. It had a lot of colors on it that I couldn't see myself rocking. So this one was the more manageable out of the two, so to speak. This one is a little outlandish as well, but it was a shoe that I could definitely see myself rocking. Adidas has done a couple of collabs with Color before. You had polka dots, stripes, all types of wild shit going on. I've never been interested in a Color collab with Adidas, but this was the first one that I knew I had to get my hands on. I went with a size 12 and a half. Now, normally I wear a size 13, and in my Uncaged Ultra Boots, I always go true to size, but for some weird reason, they only released this shoe in half sizes. Like, it was weird. They had nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half, twelve and a half. No thirteen, no twelve, no single digit numbers. I don't know why they did that. I don't know if it had something to do with this being a Japanese brand. The shit was weird as hell. So I had to go with a twelve and a half. Push gonna shove. If this feels tight, I'll take out the insole. I know if you take out the insole on a lot of Adidas, that tends to help out the sizing of the shoe and make it feel more comfortable. So 12 and a half is what I went with. But if you have never gotten an Uncaged Ultra Boost, I would advise you to go true to size. Trust Swaver. Before we get to this box opening, this box is crazy. Like, it's like a reflective silver. Only thing bad about it is, is you can feel, see, like, every fingerprint on this shoe. So if you're trying to collect this box, you're definitely going to have a hard time keeping it clean. You're definitely going to be trying to wipe off fingerprints. I would advise you not to commit a crime and then touch this box because the FBI will find you. This is the first box that I've seen with a pull box opening. And to be honest with you, it's a little weird. I'm having trouble opening this. Oh, yes, I'm loving this color. I ain't gonna lie. Let me get these out of the box. And here we have the collab between Adidas and Color out of Japan on the Uncaged Ultra Boost. And the first thing I noticed off this shoe is I thought it was baby blue but it's more of like an aqua color not saying the shoe is ugly it just 
Sometimes I hate when you see pictures online and on social media. Sometimes when you get the shoe in hand, it's not the same color as you thought it was going to be, but still a dope shoe nonetheless. Of course, the first thing everybody's probably going to pay attention to is the reflective silver heel cup. Adidas used this reflective silver on the metal pack that they came out with on the 2.0 Ultra Boost around the Rio Olympics time. And I must say, it is dope. I didn't get that shoe out of the pack. I got the gold shoe in that pack, but... Now I see why a lot of people went after that silver one because this silver is crazy. I'm not going to lie to you though. I'm worried if that is going to scratch. Anyways, let's get to the description of this shoe. You have an all prominent upper, which is the standard on Ultra Boost and Uncaged Ultra Boost. It is, uh, you have a color variation of gray and like an aqua blue, more of like a glitch pattern. I think Adidas is going more towards the glitch pattern and everything. At least that's what I'm seeing, especially on Uncaged Ultra Boost. Of course, you have your white boost midsole standard there. The sole of the shoe is that aqua blue. You gotta love that. I mean, that's a nice touch of the shoe. That blue pops, not even on front. You already know what I'm about to say. If it's not a continental sole, it ain't right. If you don't got that continental, on the bottom of your shoe you got got homie you have a prominent ankle collar that is a gray color i like that variation from the prominent upper that's a nice touch to it again you have your silver reflective heel counter cup you know me if i don't see the name of the company that's doing the collab with the shoe brand i don't want that shoe you got your color branding right there which is a nice touch on the uh the pull tab it's not really a pull tab it's not like you can really pull the shoe up on your foot with this tab but you know you damn near gotta have a pull tab on a shoe again going around the back of the shoe you have that uh white boost midsole you have of course you can see the bottom the continental bottom in that aqua blue you have your um same prominent upper the gray glitch pattern mixed with that turquoise blue white midsole your adidas three stripe branding on your toe box that is in a different um texture prominent since uncaged ultra boots don't have a cage there is still support that is on the inside of the shoe and the toe box to keep your shoe from sliding all over the place. Just because there's not a translucent cage like on the 2.0 and the 3.0, there still is support in this shoe. Comes with gray laces, no extra laces from what I saw. It would have been nice to maybe get a pair of that aqua blue laces or maybe like some gray laces with little hits of aqua blue but you know i'm not mad at these gray laces it pretty much goes with the concept of this shoe the left shoe completely mirrors the right shoe so i'm not gonna repeat myself describing the left shoe either way man this shoe is a fire shoe i'm not gonna lie to you me personally i think this shoe is better than the 3.0 ultra boost in this pack that 3.0 ultra boost man it was just too much going on too many colors i mean if you know how to rock it well more power to you but i can definitely see myself rocking this a little bit better than that 3.0 truth be told i think the people only wanted the 3.0 because the boost was black i mean people go crazy over these color boosts i don't know why you can't convince me that the 3.0 is better than this uncaged ultra boost not gonna lie to you man i'm really feeling this collab this is my first color ultra boost and i'm not mad at this one being my first one it's pretty dope don't get me wrong i don't think this is the best ultra boost i've ever seen but it's up there out of a scale of one to ten i'm giving this a solid seven and a half or an eight i'm loving this colorway and that heel that silver heel counter is a plus i'm not ready to put it up there with some of the best ultra boosts but it's definitely not the worst. Tell me what you think about the shoe. Are you liking it? Are you not liking it? Did you get your hands on a pair? I don't know if this shoe was coming out at boutiques. I would imagine it would, but if it doesn't, the resale value on these is not very high. The most I've seen them go for is like 320. So if you got a little extra money for tax return season or from cutting yards or something like that and you want a pair, a little bit over 300 is not a lot of money. So pull the trigger on it. Me personally, I can see myself rocking this shoe a lot. It's not a shoe that I'm gonna throw on every day, but I mean, if you wanna go to the mall and stun on some people, this definitely can do that, especially when they're walking behind you and they see that silver cup. This is the collab between Adidas and Color on the Uncaged Ultra Boost. Not mad at this shoe at all if you haven't already smash that thumbs up button smash that like button for me and if you haven't already definitely subscribe 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 and when you subscribe hit that little bell button next to the subscribe button so when i post something on youtube you get it first like i said adidas is coming with a lot of heat this week and i was able to get my hands on a couple of pair of shoes early i can't wait to pump that review out to y'all so stay tuned this is another episode of ottoman box openings i am dj swaver and until next time Peace. Two, oh, nine, two.